was gosh dang 40 pounds. I swear, that had a tail four feet long down me. <laughs> when I was in Mexico, I saw these things called Quatamundis. Quatamundi? Yama? There, there is these things. Look at the tails on them. Walla Mondays, I believe is what they're called. They look kind of like a raccoon fox. And I totally forgot about it last night, but when I was thinking about it this morning, what I saw in my thermals, I thought, I didn't know what it was. It looked like a giant raccoon or a giant possum, but I knew it wasn't because I'd already looked at possums and armadillos through my thermal. Mike is laughing, thinking it's a possum, and I'm like, dude, it's not a possum. That thing is coming right up for us, and it got right under the tree. I swear, y'all, it was a quad of Monday, all right? It was making these weird gargle grunt sounds. I'd never heard anything like it. Let me know in the comments if you're a, a, a Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, a Mexico resident know anything about this. Let me know about those grunts and gurgles and uh, raccoon things with really long tails. It had a real long tail. Dragging its butt on the ground, it was weird. My boy Outlaw is in Texas and it's time to go visit him. He's doing a celebration. A million subscribers, he's going to ride a bull, ladies and gentlemen. And I just got to go see this. Well, we've arrived. Hey, hey, LFG. What's cracking, man? <laughs> He's gonna move this whole pin around. Yeah, that's good. Give me a little something, oh. buddy. How you feeling Dude. right now? Dude, I am uh Did you see him rip that tape? Oh, Strong, man. Oh, man. Cramp. I'm your tape caddy. Look at that. I'm just a tape caddy for See, I'm used to riding big old bucks, you know? Just a piece of cat, you know? If you're gonna be talking about your bull riding, yeah, you gotta dude. be wearing your cowboy. Look at this bull riding cap right here. I shaped it myself, by the way. It's probably the greatest you've ever seen. What'd you use to shape it? He's a little steam off the stove. He asked me for a job shaping hats, and I, I almost hired him, and then I thought, better not. Liability. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Liability, no, exactly. No, not liability. The steam, if the steam comes up, I just can't handle that kind of responsibility. Today. Well, are you ready? You serious, man? <laughs> This ain't nothing, dude. Okay. I'm ready to do this. He's got the glove, he's got the spurs, got the bull rope. Dude, I feel legit. Man. This right here, dude, this for sissies, man. This right here is for sissies. I don't need that. It's not oh, even my sorry, size, man. man. Girl size. This is the cowbell for all them, the ladies, you know? Give it a dangle. <sighs> I'm all Team Outlaw right now. I don't have the boots, but I brought the yellow glasses. The RT specials. He's gonna get on this mechanical situation, work his way up to greatness, right? I don't even need to, but they're just, you know, like. It's precautionary measures on yeah. their part, not even for him, really. Yeah, man, for me, dude, I've ridden plenty of bulls before in bars and stuff. And the ones in the bars, you know, they can, it's mechanical, so they can, right. they can really ramp it up, you know? So. Yeah, they're trying to get their money back, so you can, they ride more often. You got to put more money in, so yeah, it's yeah. even more extreme. How, the deal. Look how I look, man. Let's get an Instagram. Come on, yeah. Right here, like yeah, like dude, like this. Yeah. Hashtag bull rider. Rickle. I ain't scared. Tickle the rickle. I'm about to tickle the rickle. Dang straight. Dude, he's kind of large. Yeah, look at them. Look at them things, dude. Some big old waves right there. Some wavos, man. Swinging. I know OSG. She likes them avocados, dude. I bet she wish she had some that size. <laughs> Those are Mondo avocados. Yeah. That's a big coin purse right there. God dang, it's hard to breathe out here. Keep your, your right butt cheek on his backbone. If you're sitting off the side, he'll throw you in the side instead of going straight. I got this, man. Okay. Kind of. I'd like it to be about 30 degrees cooler. I feel like I'm bringing in that hot air. I'm just breathing dust right in, you know? You're bringing that hot Colorado pronghorn coin purse deer sweat exactly. with you straight off the range, man. Hey, do you, right you actually have experience? You what? Do you actually have experience doing this? I mean, got a couple of belt buckles, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I bought them at the store, but. Just witnessed Outlaw riding on the mechanical. It's going to be a pretty sweet video. So uh, if you haven't subscribed over at the old Outlaw channel, I'm actually going to give you 
a, uh, a secondary hug for reaching a million oh. subscribers. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Which I have not actually congratulated you, so thank you. Thanks. I mean, th thank me is what I'm saying for yeah. getting you there because it's really all about Collaboration. The fishing freaks got Dang you there, right, probably. Yeah. It's hard for me to say thank you a lot because I've got such a big, like, ego that I try to calm down. It's not my yeah. fault. I was just born that way. Love you, fishing freaks, man. I love coming to the LFG channel to see y'all. And you're going to come down to the treehouse. Yes, sir, we're dude. Come down. Next month, we're going to come down, and then it's hunting season, boy. Yes, it is. A bunch. Yes, it is. Y'all get ready for it. Yes, it can be. My buddy here, um, he's getting strapped in. Pro expertise from old Dale. Let's check in and see what they're doing. Cody. Getting close to game time, dude. Man, we're gonna give it a go. Uh, this little Red Bull, he's he's had a couple outs. He's kind of knows the game a little bit, but overall, I think, I uh, feel pretty confident. I think we'll have a good day. Yeah, man. How you feeling, Outlaw? I'm ready, dude. I just got in there. Cody there, he's one of the premier bullfighters in the country. He's here okay, to make sure Outlaw doesn't get stomped into the ground. We're here with Dale. He's a professional uh, hair grower. Probably know him. I'll have him linked down below if you haven't. But Dale, give us what's gonna happen to old Outlaw. I'm a little scared for his life. You know who's not scared is Outlaw, and that worries me. First, he's gonna get on Rickle, which is this black muley. Muley meaning he has no horns. A Little bit more of a herd bull. And I think he's wanting to get on Baxter. Baxter is, he, he's for real. Like that's a rodeo bull right there. And like certified. Certified rodeo bull. He's part of the Winnebago Buckers. So we just do don't know if he's ready. But let's, we, let's give like a grade level on uh old uh tickler. What's his name? Rickle. Rickle. Okay, do you think he's gonna get tickled on Rickle or do you think he's gonna conquer Rickle? He's gonna conquer Rickle. And then So okay. he's never been on a bull, he's gonna conquer him. That's the level I'm putting Rickle at. So we're he's gonna give maximum confidence out of Rickle over there. And then uh Old Big Nasty Baxter. Less than one second. Less than one second. That's a lot, my bad. It's nothing against Outlaw. Let's just look at him. That's just a, a different meaner. You could just, t I mean, that's just a whole different animal right there. Like, he was he was born with a different purpose. That's entertainment. <laughs> and it's going to be entertaining today. There you have it, folks. Fighting Texas Aggie. Class of 09. I'm 08, by the way. We know what we're talking about. That's what I know. Oh, eggs. Just some old eggs. Just some old eggs out Just here. Some old eggs rodeoing. Go see what happens, to old outlaw. Stick around. It's gonna get real interesting. Just some old eggs trying to hey, get yeah. out of a gate. Trying I was wet. I was gonna say, let's insert your Aggie joke right here, folks. In, in our defense, we're not engineering majors. I studied fish. He studied cattle. I'll do everything I can to keep you safe, but when it comes down to you know, when you hit that ground, you need to get up and get out of there. I'm freaking scared, dude. I'm sweating, man. Just look at me. Cody, how was that? Pretty good, man. Like four and a half jumps. That was good. That's pro. I gotta say, I was impressed. Dale, what thoroughly, do you got on that? Thoroughly impressed with his first bull ride. People's first bull ride don't go that way. Real talk. I mean, he had a good instructor, though. He looked like he actually knew what he was doing. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I think he's hungry for Baxter, but his second bull may not go as well as his first bull. Yeah, you did. think he got a little cocky because it actually went pretty decent. We're going to start there. calling him cocky. Pickle B. Gibbons. Pickle B. Gibbons. Pickle Man. is, uh, look, he looks noise. like my beard. He, uh, he likes to sometimes take a dump in here and I'll yell at him. That's why he was a little sheepish around me. I'm ready, man. I just need to cool off, dude. He needs to, he needs to cool off right there. God, come on now. Come on. Time for the big boy now, Baxter. Hang on to your butts.
ladies and gents, he has done it. I was out here helping him film this little deal. You guys make sure to go watch his video, his millionth subscriber congratulations video. He did it for you guys, so uh, I think it's awesome. I know some of you have gone over to his channel from here, so make sure you go watch that. I was a little scared behind the camera filming him, knowing that there was a uh, huge bull uh, riding over him uh, and actually ripped his jeans and stepped on his, his calf. So it was kind of a close call. It was the real deal, I assure you. I assure you, it was real. And I got to meet some cool guys out here. I got to meet Cody, one of the best bullfighters in the country and old Dale. Dale is certainly a character. May have to take old Dale fishing. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that'd be a cool idea. And I think this is my last little trip on the road, even though I'm not far from home, before OSG is about to pop. I'm talking about little Emmy is out to here. So I gotta head back home, guys. But thank you so much for being here today. Y'all know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe for more action. Don't forget to hit the ding dongs for all the notifications. Go follow my boy Outlaw. Go follow old Dale and I'll see you guys on the next one.